we gotta talk about the denim brush, y'all. We gotta talk. Hey YouTube fam, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is staying safe and inside and doing what they need to do so we can get rid of this foolishness and get back into the world. Before we get started, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out, as y'all know, and you'll also be notified every single time a new video drops so you won't have to worry about missing anything ever again. So today's video is going to be all about the Denman brush. So you guys may have seen my previous video where I did a whole mousse wash and go using the Denman brush for the first time ever. I was super excited by how it came out. My curl definition was on another level and so ever since that video I've continued to use the brush but there have been some really bad things that I've noticed about my curl since then like week after week after week. It actually started to scare me a little bit. So honestly at this stage the Denman brush is a little bit canceled for me and if you guys are interested and hearing why, what exactly happened, then just continue to watch. So the whole basis of my channel is to always encourage you guys to treat your curls with care and make sure they're staying healthy and popping so you can always love and embrace them. And so that's why I found it super necessary to do this video because in my last video, I was hyping it up, saying how happy I was about it, and that was the genuine, honest truth. At that point in time I loved my results I loved the way it works in my curls I mean you guys saw it in the video but my opinion on the brush has since changed and I have now completely stopped using it so basically after using the brush for every single wash and go I noticed like every single time I would use it it would just cause more issues with my curls so one of the main issues that I noticed so I have like and I think this is something that most curly girls have but I have like a patch of hair like towards the middle right here that is my more coarse kind of hair right it, I call it my little dry patch because it gets a little extra dry I usually have to put a little extra treatment or a little extra deep conditioner in that patch of hair um, that's just how my hair is so I started to notice though that whenever I was using the Denman brush I was noticing that my ends were like really nice and defined and pop and they were cute but then I was noticing like my roots were super poofy and then especially this dry patch here, it was not defined at all. So I do have issues getting it to define as tight as like my front curls do as well as um, my back curls, they define really nicely. This patch has always had issues defining but I've always had curls there if you get what I'm saying. So the curls aren't as tight as the rest of my curls but there are curls there. There is still a curl pattern. But when I was using the brush like over and over and over again, I noticed that this patch was not curling at all. It was extra dry, extra frizzy and just like a hot mess. Honestly, that's the best way that I can describe it. It was an absolute train wreck. So the more that I used the brush, I realized that, okay, my ends were cute. Like maybe this half and down of my hair was like cute. But then my roots started to get more and more poofy. And I just, I just didn't like it. So basically I started to realize that with the brush, as you're brushing it through your hair, at least this is what happened with my curls. Um, I think what happens is that once you apply the product and then you're brushing the product through, I think the brush is actually dragging all the product from my roots down to the ends of my hair. So I think that's what caused my roots to be so big and poofy. All the product was being dragged down to the ends. These were literally being left dry and then my ends would curl up like crazy. So another thing I noticed, because my ends were so crazy defined and super tight curls, whenever I wanted to wash my hair, Man, clearing out these curls was a process. My hair had never, ever been that naughty and that difficult to clear out in the shower ever before. Like never, ever, ever. Even when I'm finger detangling, like it was just a matted, hot mess. It really made wash day way more of a chore and way less pleasant and I was really just frustrated with my curls. And because it was so hard to clear out, it also then caused me to be using the brush again to try and get those cleared out because there was no way finger detangling could have helped in any way, shape, or form. It was like that bad. And because I was using the brush, I was being a lot more rough on my hair. So then that started to lead to my hair falling out. Like I had big clumps of hair. I wish I took pictures of them. Hair shedding on a wash day is normal, but this was definitely excessive. Like you'll know 
your regular amount of shedding when you do your hair. And I knew for sure like this was excessive and it was also increasing every single week. At this stage though, I wasn't 100% sure that it was actually the brush. I am due for a trim right about now. So I was thinking, okay, maybe this is my hair telling me like, hey, we got a trim because that's usually one of the signs that your hair will do to let you know like time to trim, babe. So that went across my mind. I have also been experimenting with a bunch of different products lately. As y'all know, I have stopped using Diva Curl for the moment, which were like my top fave. That was like my go-to holy grail products. So I've just been experimenting with other brands, different types of products in order to find my set of holy grail products. So I had also thought like, okay, my hair could also be stressed out by me trying all these different products all the time. So I really wasn't sure. I kind of still continue to use the brush even though it was in the back of my mind. But I just noticed like every single time I use a brush, I got less and less definition in my roots and then the mid part of my hair and then more and more tight curls and definition in the ends of my hair, which like caused way too many problems for me. At one point, I honestly even thought that it was the mousse. I thought like, okay, mousse has been working for me, but maybe it's not working for my curls anymore. Maybe I need to try something heavier. So I tried to wash and go with gel and the Denman brush and not even that could hold the curl definition that I was looking for. So it was really just one wash day where I was just like, you know what, this is not even worth it. My wash day didn't come out how it normally did. It was just really like just looking crazy like I love me some volume don't get me wrong I love poofy hair I love big hair I have big hair so I love me some big hair so lack of volume was never an issue for me um, it was when the brush started to cause like lack of curl definition up here and my curls to just look like two different types of curls from the root versus the ends like it just it was causing all types of issues so i was like you know what next wash day we are finger detangling finger styling and that's it and you know what honestly it was a night and day difference and once i saw that i was like wow i gotta let my people know because i know i did that video where i was like kind of hyping it up but like with consistent use I noticed something completely different. So on my first wash day without the Denman brush, I made sure to do a little protein treatment. That way, if there were any like crazy damage caused by this Denman brush and by anything else, I mean, it could have been other things as well. Um, but I still wanted to do that treatment so that it can replenish my hair, repair some damage, and bring these curls back to life. And then the wash day after my first wash day, going back to finger detangling, I then noticed how much easier it was to then finger detangle a week later. Like it was a night and day difference, honestly, in terms of trying to detangle my curls. Oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. It was an honest nightmare. I mean, that alone, canceled, done. Now I have to say that this is my personal experience with my curls, right? So if the Denman brush works for you consistently and you've been using it, and it, it, your curls are popping, you have no issues, no shedding, blah, 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 continue to use the brush. Use the brush, because that's what works for you. But this is what happened to me and my curls, and I have made a decision to stop using it, and I will probably never use it again. Um, so if you have similar curls to me, and are experiencing some hair issues, this is just to say like it's possible that it could be the Denman brush. Now I posted like a little snippet on my IG stories and some people also suggested maybe removing some of the bristles in the brush so that there's less bristles and therefore like not as tight, I guess is what you would call it. There'd be like less friction on your hair as you're brushing it through. So that is another suggestion if you guys really, really love the brush but want to find a way to make it work for you, then that is something that you can do as well. But for me personally, based off of everything that I saw happen to my curls over like a few weeks, um, I have decided that I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to try that. I'm just going to stick to what my curls like and what my curls are more happy with. And for sure, like without a doubt, 100%, that is finger detangling. So yeah, that is basically my experience with consistent use with the Denman brush. I really hope that you guys found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and as usual, give it a girl a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, please go ahead and do so now so that way I can catch y'all in the next video, which happens to just be right here. Catch you in the next one. Stay inside. Bye.